Hi everybody, Brady the Honest Woodcutter here uh, versus all those uh, other woodcutters out there that are liars. Well, not all of them. I know there's some other honest woodcutters out there, but there are a lot of guys that will tell you, oh yeah, this can be a good cord of wood, and they don't know what a cord of wood is. Let me show you what a cord of wood is, okay? Here I got my F-250. Now I got this stacked in there tight. I don't throw it on. I don't toss it on. I stack it on. I leave as little air as I possibly can just over the bed. Just I give the, like to give the customer just a pinch extra. That's how you keep a happy customer. That's how you keep a repeat customer. Always give them just a little bit more than what they than what they pay for. Okay, so that's a half a cord there on my truck. Now I got my trailer back here. Here's the other half a cord. Okay, also stack tight. You see any air in there? Very little. There's a little right there, but that's how you stack a cord of wood. If somebody brings me a load of wood and it's tossed on their truck, it'd be the last load of wood they ever bring me. When I buy a cord of wood, I want a damn cord of wood. I'm not buying a truck load. I'm not buying a heap. I'm not buying a pile and I'm not buying a pinch. I'm buying a cord or I'm buying a face cord, which as for those of you that don't know, a face cord is one third of a cord or approximately two thirds of this trailer would be one face cord. Or one or two thirds of that truck would be approximately one face cord. So that is a cord of firewood. Don't let anybody fool you folks. If you need to, don't be afraid, don't be as shy to get out your tape measure and start measuring. There should be 128 cubic feet or maybe just a pinch more in a cord of firewood. If you don't know how to figure a cord of, of cubic foot, well, get out your calculator on your little cell phone there and figure it out. Don't let them rip you off. I got ripped off for too many years. I had too many dishonest woodcutters tell me it's this and that, and I know better. I just ain't my first rodeo, folks. I've been around this game a long time. And, yeah, so this is how you keep a customer happy. Give them what they want and just give them a little bit more. This is nice dry firewood. This, this is all oak, nothing else. It was all cut last summer, so it's been down about a year. It's nice and dry. It's ready to burn. However, it's June, so by the time this wood, by the time fall comes around winter comes around and this customer is actually going to use this this is going to my customer in uh, uh for a wood furnace it's in his garage it heats his house and uh by the time he gets around to using this about november or december when he actually lights his furnace this is going to be some excellent firewood for him um so yeah this is how you do it folks this is what was left of the pile that i split the other day uh this trailer load or about 80% of this trailer load actually came from that pile. And that there came from uh, out in my firewood gathering place this morning. I went out and split that. And uh, so anyway, uh, just leave your com your comments at the bottom. And uh, I will be happy to get back to them if, as soon as I can. Thank you. Over and out.